I'll be talking on the phone a bit later uh, to Stephen Wiley uh, from Shack, which is a charity for dogs, uh, safe homes and kindness. It's 102.4 Radio Hartlepool, Monday morning with me, Lee Thiesby. Stevie Wonder, and isn't she lovely? Which, uh, one of my things I, th- I find lovely are actually uh, dogs. I absolutely love dogs and uh, animals in general. And I'm hoping to be joined on the phone now by Stephen Wiley from Shack. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Lee. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks, sir. How are you? I'm not too bad, not too bad. The sun's shining, so that's a start, isn't it? Now, I know you're at work because I can hear some dogs in the background there. Yeah, yeah, that's that, right, yeah. That's nice. Now, of course, you work for this charity, uh, providing dogs, uh, finding safe homes and also kindness for them as well, because uh, there's a lot of uh, dogs, for whatever reason, become homeless, isn't it? Th- that's right. I mean, what we do up here is we, we basically do something a little bit different in terms of we take dogs in that have... Um, more complicated stories to tell, if you like, and a little bit more um, issues and problems, uh, and just give them somewhere to go and, and, and to be safe, and then get the, you know, get into the habit of being a dog again, um, and, and then take it from there, really, from from what we do with them. Now, I believe you're based in Northumberland, but you do actually help, uh, you know, animals from Hartlepool, don't you, as well? We do, yeah. We've had a few dogs from Hartlepool. Uh, most recently, a German Shepherd um, that, w- that, that we helped out that was in a pretty, pretty desperate situation. Um, but we do work with one of the, the kennels down there in Hartlepool as well, or the Hartlepool area. Uh, and again, take some of the slightly more difficult dogs and, and, and give them give them somewhere to go. Now, it can't be easy running a, an organisation such as that. Must uh, there must be a lot of costs involved? And I believe uh, you're doing some fundraising at the moment, aren't you? We are, yeah. A gentleman called Malcolm Riley, as I say, we, we, we contact, was contacted basically about a, a dog that we helped him out with, and Malcolm was very kindly put together a brilliant little um, fundraising package down down in the Hartlepool area. Uh, he's managed to secure us a, a fishing trip uh, out of Hartlepool Marina that he's currently raffling on, um, obviously to raise funds to help us uh, to keep the dogs in the kennels up here. So how do people, you know, if they're interested in that, uh, you know, there's a lot of animal lovers around Hartlepool, uh, and if they fancy helping out, how do they fancy, uh, how can they get involved uh, in, yeah. uh, you know, doing this fishing trip? Yeah, I mean, as I said, it, it's basically it's being raffled off. I think the date's the 20th of July for the draw of the raffle, but there are tickets available. I mean, I've got a list of venues here, if it's OK to read those out. Uh, yeah, so of course, can, yeah. can go down and buy tickets. It's at the, uh, the Mill House Inn, the New Inn, which is on the headland, uh, the Cosmopolitan, which is on the headland, the Fisherman's on the headland, and there's Rapport Cafe and the RSPCA shop as well, they're very kindly sell them in York Road. Near um, uh, Radio Hartlepool <laughs> itself as well. I think that's correct, yes, that's right. He's done a, he's a, done a cracking job getting the tickets out and about and, and ready for people to uh, to purchase, yeah. So obviously, you know, uh, these funds would go uh, back into helping your organisation, wouldn't they? Providing a, a bit of much-needed money as well. D- that's right. I mean, we're basically we're, we're, we're very much a voluntary organisation. So yeah, the, all the money does go straight back into the dogs, uh, and obviously gives the dogs, you, you know, vets bills, kennel fees, food bills, all, all the usual kind of running costs that you would associate with having. I mean, we've currently got fifty. I think it's fifty-five dogs in the kennels. Um, so as you can imagine, we go through quite a lot of dog food and quite a lot of. You uh, must do, yeah. And everything, yeah, yeah. Certainly. So I know there's a lot of uh, animal lovers around Hartlepool, and I'm sure uh, they'll be interested in going to one of those venues and uh, maybe purchasing a raffle ticket for that fishing trip as well. Meanwhile, Stephen, thank you very much for joining me on the phone this morning, and the best of luck with that. You're very welcome, Lee. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. No problem. On the way now, Alicia Dixon and Let's Get Excited. It is Radio Hartlepool. Hartlepool.